Cancer, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for you. It is for the, well, end of November, or third week of November, <laughs> specifically. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, sit back and enjoy. Uh, check out other signs in your chart as well, Cancer, for additional messages. I will be doing a love reading. I will be looking into the person that is showing up in your reading. Uh, well, energy, more like it, and uh, let's look into their feelings, intentions, and your feelings and intention, and also the likely outcome, and I will also download some general messages. I'm using, <clears throat> sorry, the Babylonian tarot deck, and I will be clarifying with some decks that I have prepared for you for this evening's reading, Cancer. It is dark here. It's strange when it's so dark so early, even though it's not that early now. <laughs> I think it's strange. So I am almost ready to start your reading. So Cancer, Cancer. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. Um, I'm visualizing you getting your sort of mojo or feeling that you want to go out more or getting into festive spirits and just feel like carefree and fierce. Someone have their eyes on you, Cancer. This person could have water elements in their chart. There will be a quick change that you don't see coming, Cancer. A very quick something is happening that is destined but now things are going really really fast mm, they do see you as someone maybe you have as uh, i'm getting either fire element or aquarius in your chart but they see you as holding back they see you as being sort of again carefree not really investing in love but you know they're taking their time here this person could have pisces in their chart this person is trying to under show that they understand you they want to show you that okay if they don't come forward it's like because they it's like they want to follow the energy that you in. if they see you acting aloof enjoying life they want to hold back a bit longer because they don't want to interfere and they see you in an energy right now that is glowing and hopeful and yeah, there is, uh, th there is you also coming out of a difficult time perhaps and uh, it looks like this person is very supportive of your glow up and um, they are holding on tight before they take a leap towards you. They could have Aries, they could have Pisces in their chart. They are doing some research and uh, scouting for you. Uh, <laughs> I see that Cancer. They could be on a distance. Maybe you're not even thinking about this person, but they are thinking about you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's possible that this person was in a relationship when you met them and it's possible that this person is coming out of a relationship. All right. Now we have the temperance with Sagittarius energy here. So I feel that, well, after the 20, well, 22nd, we're moving into Sagittarius season. There is a change in the energy between the two of you and someone here is going to speed up. I feel that they are healing and dealing with a the three of swords um, that has something that have been, well, maybe just sort of, there's something that got to them. It doesn't have to be a relationship, but it can be. It can be that they're splitting up for, from a Libra. They are in a distance. They are planning and finding their way back to you. I think it is inevitable that this person will reach you cancer in a, in a you know in very short time. And when they reach you, this person wants forward movement, they will be ready. This person is I'm just seeing that yeah they are um going to be fun. They're going to be in a better position than what they used to be, I'm getting especially if you're dealing with an Aries, uh, Sagittarius. I feel that this person have finally spent time to heal their heart. So yeah, something is about to speed up much, much faster. This is happening much faster than what you expect. Um, this person holds a very special place. Um, you know, uh, you, you, I think they hold a special place in your heart and you hold a special place in their heart um and 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 i'm picking up that they desperately here want to 
it's like, okay, just give me one more chance, one more chance. There's got to be one more chance for us, Cancer. That's what I'm getting here. There's got to be, it's got to be. And now, and now is the time. They feel that there's been so many missed opportunities, but now is the time. They, they are pining for this opportunity here. Okay, so what have we got here? For the person that Cancer is dealing with, what is happening in their environment, feelings, and what's their intentions towards Cancer? Please. So, yes, they definitely have walked away. We have the Eight of Cups underneath the deck. They're definitely now saying, okay, well, what's done is done. Now I am starting my new chapter. Now, I, now I'm starting, maybe they're getting a new job. They are, there's a boost to their energy. They are like, okay, this is, this, this is where I'm going. I'm going towards cancer and uh, nothing is going to hold me back. Um, I think that they are leaving someone or they have left someone. Maybe they have a child with someone or some kind of past, but I feel that it's all done and dusted and this person is very much eager, excited to move forward. Very, 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 very excited. Two of Cups, uh, here is, um, you know, soulmate connection. They feel that you are the one, uh, you know, you, you hold a very special, special place in this person's heart. Yeah, I, I'm liking this energy. It just seems that... When they show up in your life, you're going to feel that, oh, well, oh, well yeah, well, I haven't <laughs> completely forgotten about them. Um, yeah, I, I haven't at all. So, so okay, I'm gonna, this was not really in the order that I wanted. So, okay, let's, see, let's have a look. So, we have the Page of Swords. All right, there are sort of, um, I, I feel like, okay, they're a bit shy. They're thinking, okay, usually about this time, cancer will show up at this location. But if they're not, well, I'm not going to give up hope. I'm still going, <laughs> I'm still going to find cancer. I have my way. I have my way. So they're looking up to in this. They are like holding up. <laughs> it's, they're doing whatever they can. So you see this person, she's balancing a fine line as uh, she's reading a book, looking up information. There's birds flying around her and there is light bulbs. One, two, three, four light bulbs she's holding. Maybe they've had four chances to reach out to you, but they're not giving up. They're like, okay, I need to, to make sure that I'm an available on every platform possible so that cancer will see me. <laughs> they will see me if they show up here. <laughs> so yeah, that's what, that's what I'm getting here. Um, we have the chariot, we have the world. Um, so, okay, we have the star and the king of wands and the nine of wands and the hermit. Hmm. You might have closed a chapter, a big chapter in your life where there's a job, career moving or just something you feel like it's a chapter again we're coming to the end of the year but maybe you also feel like okay if you've been traveling maybe you're feeling oh i want to settle here or maybe you will travel it's something about a new chapter uh coming here yeah you've been on a crossroads uh and and you are planning what to do next you're feeling calm cool and collected i feel like you are yeah i mean both of you are longing looking towards each other i feel that both of you want the same uh it's a great energy here um we have sagittarius aquarius uh energy here uh virgo as well um yeah i'm, I'm really liking this energy it's um it, it seems like the perfect timing uh for you to to meet, for you to come back together. Yeah, you feel the same way about each other, Cancer. You both hold a very special place in each other's heart. Definitely, definitely. I don't really need to clarify more on your side here. I just feel like it's very much set in stone when this person shows up, when they take this leap, when they send this message, when they... Uh, you know, stop being shy or whatever, finding they need to still get out of their head, but this will fall into place. It feels like, oh, you feel like you've known each other for a long time and um, you, you feel in a great place. I mean, the Empress, you could be abundant, you could receive um, an offer, uh, like of a, as a new opportunity, you just feel, okay, this is right for me. Like there is a, a really nice, nice energy here. It's, it's you getting an opportunity to spend time with those people, those you love 
and and at the same time nurturing yourself it could also be that yeah it's private time as well it's like being around people but at the same time being with that special person that yeah you feel like okay i can get to know that we have maybe some of you have leo in your chart um i'm getting aries i'm getting um cat yeah sorry sagittarius as well pisces is here uh, Scorpio as well. Now, so I feel that if you're dealing with someone with water sign in their chart, they could have, you know, moved towards another option in the past. This person could be a fire sign, maybe Leo, but nevertheless, it's just the two of you um, with eyes only for each other. I really like the energy, uh, Cancer, and uh, it just, it feels like the perfect timing. Whatever happened on your previous path, okay, that's in, in the past. I'm not really getting an X vibes here. I'm actually getting just, you have a new chapter. You feel ready for this relationship. So great energy. You feel like, oh, this is, like, I see for you, Cancer. There can be that you are coming out of it kind of a hard, like, you've been putting in more hard work. And... You are now choosing an opportunity where you feel, okay, my hard work is going to pay off. You might take a minute to uh, rejuvenate and relax and sort of take in what opportunities you want, opportunity you want to go for and which one you want to close. And then I see here, Cancer, you decide, okay, now is the time for me to end this chapter. It feels right. I've been on a crossroads for a while. I'm going to take this with two but two hands, <laughs> bare hands, I was going to say, and, and go for it. Uh, and um, yeah, and, and in come this, comes this person. Um, you are following your purpose. You are following like healing. You are following your dreams, uh, cancer, and um, your intuition, most importantly, and, and your higher self. Uh, many of you could have a, you know, a close relationship to spirits. You have spiritual practice or religion. Could uh, but I, I feel here this is more the following the inner voice, and this come it, it comes with a tower moment, especially the person that you are going to move towards. This person is this person is like you have tamed them or they feel tamed by being around you. Okay, so I'm getting I'm gonna clarify again. There is someone so again with water elements in their chart. They could have Scorpio, but nevertheless, this person that have feelings for you, I feel this person here, something about a queen of a wands. They could be, there, there is a choice. There is someone here moving away from one person to be with you. That is a choice uh, that they are following. And as they make this choice, it could tear up a family. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries woman uh, or a Sagittarius woman, this could be a shock. This could be a shock that this could be either you're, yeah. So if you have fire elements in your chart, maybe you're dealing with a male that you hear that from, or there's something about someone that have kept options and this is going to be really painful to find out. Someone is had a suspicion as well yeah there is someone here that have kept options and it's going to someone that have feelings for you i believe they were in another relationship with an aries or leo and this will be revealed and it's going to cause a tower moment as this person take a leap of faith i feel this person is taking a leap of faith away from someone to go towards you i feel that this reading, actually, a uh, cancer, you might have air elements in your chart. They might also have air elements in their chart. And it's like, they are sort of, they could be quite cutthroat about it. It can be that this person had been living in a relationship that was, uh, well, they were together, but it was based on, they were together, but it was based on, sorry, um, living under the same roof, uh, maybe I'm getting here, there's a bit quite messy, there could be a, like have a child, but it was um, not for love, maybe for practical reasons. And uh, now when they found a love with you, Cancer, it's, 
you know, it's just meant to be this, this, this union here. It's a beautiful card. It's like quite spiritual, um, this union as well. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. So I feel that this person is going to eliminate the distance. We have Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo is here as well. Mm -hmm. Everything will be all right. Please trust me. I can't stop thinking about you. You are always in my dreams. I'm realizing your love was holding me together. I hear a million voices telling me the things I should have said. But um, yeah, there will be the tower moment is them taking a leap. And the tower, yeah, there will be some nuisance. Um, could, that could be between a an Aries and a Scorpio. Anything else here for Cancer? The two of you could live worlds apart. Uh, maybe no one would have put you together because you're so different, um, different age perhaps as well. Uh, it can also be a gay relationship uh, for some here can be that you it's like live it you live very very far away maybe you have to drive far like someone is driving maybe someone love love driving love like nice cars as well um you feel that this connection is spiritual you feel this connection that they, you were guided towards this person and it feels right even though the circumstances might feel a bit oh, shaky but it I don't really see much drama around the situation someone is thinking about you or have been thinking about you for a while they feel that you are soulmate um, bad health so someone here could be I'm getting here someone could play dead um, almost like to try to stop someone leaving as well um, but yeah this is safe for you to love change is coming and heart to heart conversation freeing yourself so there is uh, there there is some kind of noise there is some sort of noise here in the background but i feel this person is yeah i feel that they are um not allowing it to escalate I feel this is a peaceful person. If they if they feel that, okay, if they are leaving someone or that that's going to be noise, they are trying to avoid it. However, however, someone here, there seems to be some, some kind of noise that is not well, unavoidable because a person here is quite fierce and, and, and angry, um, like, or their, their character is quite dramatic. So I feel as they walk away, there might be some gossip or someone it just depends on how close <laughs> you live or like if you can see that around this person uh, if you're on this person's social media you might see something an angry post or something like that yeah but yeah we have the ten of pentacles so yeah this this connection here is yeah three of swords so there is a relationship here that's ended I feel you can, it's possible as well that there is a, there's a marriage that's ended, could be a Scor someone have Scorpio in their chart or Virgo in their chart here. I feel definitely like a relationship that wasn't built on a strong foundation. I feel here there's a relationship that was moving too quickly in together. I mean, moving, it's like forced to live together under certain circumstances. Maybe this was like the pandemic or something and two people moved in and it was forced and then kind of, they, they got children or something like that, but actually they realized that, okay, they made the most out of the situation in a way, but they were not meant to be. Mm. So I do feel here that, um, yeah, this person that have, if you're dealing with someone's fire elements, maybe Virgo in their chart, there was something going under the radar long, like a while before. I feel that this had been long time coming basically yeah and there's been a relationship here where there were was unrequited love and that was just going on for so long this person have deep feelings for you 
cancer and they intend to, well, muster up the courage to tell you what they want and that is you and that you are in their future. They will be quite expressive about your happiness. Yes, there is a queen of wands here that will be left behind, can be reversed as well. This will be an issue. This will be someone that, mm, if they have children, yeah, this is someone that is argumentative. If there is a divorce happening, it's going to be, there. this person will not make it easy for this person to depart, but I see that they will, um, they will just deal with it head on, basically. They could have Pisces in their chart um, as well, the person that is coming towards you, that is on a distance here. I feel that at the moment, they could be dealing with a Pisces, perhaps. Yeah, this person could also be a Gemini. Uh, but I feel that this person is not going to, let's say, be held back uh, or based on someone's threat. But someone here, it looks like... Yeah, it does look like this person will, um, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're quite, um, like overbearing this person. I feel this person is very loud. Um, anything else here? Very loud. Um, and they will not make it easy, especially if they have a child. Yeah, there's something about a lawsuit here as well, whether they will win or not. This is someone they will go take, they, they will just... Anything else here, Cancer? Yeah. So I feel here this was a marriage that was short-lived. A short-lived marriage. They have a child. They might have two children. Yeah, this is... Um, Yeah, I feel this is a marriage here where 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 this person oh, they have lived in this relation well lived yeah with this person especially if you're dealing with Aries or an Earth sign but there's been unrequited love. This person is a bit complicated and um, you might be the one of the few people that understand this person. I don't think that this person here was genuine to the person they've been with. They they were wearing a mask. And they were wearing a mask for the longest time, maybe out of fear and realizing that this person is very dramatic. And then since they met you, they realized that they have to be bold and brave. And, you know, they have to, even if what they're going to say, they're going to put them in a bad light and all the stuff will come up to the surface and it will cause a really bad ending. They're going to have to do it. So I feel that's going to happen here, that someone is going to say to someone that exactly what went down it will cause this ending it could cause this lawsuit and like mayhem here but it looks like they will do it they will do it for this connection because they they want to yeah they don't want to to tiptoe around it anymore it's like someone is making them you know controlling them and making them fear everything because they are controlling them on the outside based on threatening to make drama cause drama and stuff like that so yeah i see that they are going to muster up the courage to what well, face face the music here uh it yeah i see someone here it's really going head to head with a difficult situation uh, maybe this person that you're dealing with they've always been humble like they don't lose their temper they don't really say anything bad but it looks like there will be a heated argument here and yeah there will be a a scene someone is causing a scene here but um yeah I, I, outside from that uh cancer this person when they show up it, it seems like that they have settled everything they have walked away from this situation here and and they are ready to to be with you here i see you're getting to know each other i see that you are investing in each other here they do put you on a pedestal this person here is yeah they definitely worship you they they also want to give you space and time. I see this person and you, you have, an, you have like an understanding and agreement here. I feel like how you want this relationship, how you should move, move forward. And, you know, when uh, I do really like, even, even though you have spent less time together, then perhaps the relationship they are coming out of, uh, I feel that uh, you and this person, you feel closer uh, because I feel that this person here, they, they were not themselves in this previous connection. They were scared. Um, yeah, they were scared from the moment they moved into this connection here and they realized they were dealing with a psychopath or narcissist, someone that was just um, like 
It's like if they didn't tiptoe around the person, they could lash out on their children or just like someone here is very, very difficult to deal with. Yeah, 10 of swords. I see here you also are, if you're leaving a relationship or a job or something that's that, that's possible as well. I feel here that you are coming out of a difficult, well, not. I feel like something happened in the, this year that was hard, like it was definitely hard. They gave you sleepless nights. Uh, it can be to do with delayed commitment here. Maybe you were waiting for this person, especially if you're dealing with someone with either Taurus, Gemini or water elements in their chart, or you would, they, they, they were, it's like you were stressed as well because this person took forever to make their up their mind. So they could be leaving a Libra, uh, by the way. So it took it took a long time here, yeah. And now this person's coming clean. Um, yeah, this Eight of Swords coming out of the situation. But it's it's not been easy. I do feel here that you feel betrayed, or you you have definitely de seen you definitely been caught in the middle here, and you have sort of felt also. I mean, you don't, you're not entirely happy about the situation in terms of the way things went. I think that you will feel, feel up in your head. There is something here that was painful. And even though it's like someone is coming clean, you will feel a bit, oh, okay, well, yeah, no, I feel passionate and excited about it. Okay, things are coming my way. Things are now moving forward. Great. You know, it looks like it work that I stayed away from the situation so they could resolve it but but I'm still up in my head I still need a minute here but I do see you and this person communicating and the trust is there and is developing and 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 I feel there is this harmony being um established in this disconnection so um, and, and, and on the back of that, you have the, uh, the 10 of pentacles. Um, so there's a big announcement. I do see this person, um, you know, they are solid with you. They will not leave your side or like in terms of their promises to you, they are sure, they are really sure about you and this, you know, the future. Um, so I do see this person expressing like the truth or with passion. You could be quite shocked that they are so passionate because they might have been held holding back um, as well. So yeah, Cancer, these were the messages I've got for you. And please like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you very soon. Take care.